Hi, this is Alon from the Sage Phoenix SDK team. In this video, I'll demonstrate the Audit Trail module and we'll see how to integrate it with Elasticsearch and Kibana servers for custom audit reporting. I have here a running Sitefinity website. The first thing to do is to make sure that the Audit Trail module is activated. So we'll go to Administration, Modules and Services. We'll locate the Audit Trail module and under Actions, I'll make sure it's installed. And now the module is active. Now let's go back to the site. Again to Administration and Settings. Let's go to the Advanced section. And here we can see the Audit section is added. Let's see the options we're presented here with. The first option is Enable JSON Logging. This is the default logging option for the Audit Trail module. It will record actions on the Sitefinity system in textual log files in JSON format. The second option is the option to enable IP address logging. This means that the IP address of the user is included in the audit report. Be sure to uncheck this option if you wish for some legal or privacy reason not to record IP addresses of the users. Next we have the Elasticsearch URI, which is the address of your Elasticsearch server. We'll save that for later when we see how to integrate with Elasticsearch. Now that we have the Audit Trail module enabled and we have the JSON logging enabled, we can go back to the system. Let's create a simple page. Let's call it Hello. I'll just put a small content block here. Let's type the famous message, hello world, and publish it. Now I'll log out of the system and log in again. And I'm logged back to the back end. Now let's explore the audit trail logs. I'll just open the IIS Manager. Let's go to the Sitefinity site, which is the default site in my case, and explore it. And under App Data in Sitefinity, we have in the Logs folder an Audit Log for today. Let's open it with a notepad, and we can see that we have the actions logged in JSON format, for example, we see a, we have an event for a page node, and down here, uh, a backend authentication event also recorded. Well, this report is all good and nice. We can extend it dramatically by using Elasticsearch and Kibana servers in order to accumulate the data and display it in custom dashboards and give us much more detailed reports. Let's go to the Elasticsearch website .org .com, and let's download it. I'll just get the zip file for now. Now the download is complete. I'll go to the download folder. Let's take Elasticsearch zip and I'll place it on my desktop just to reduce this and let's extract it. Now Elasticsearch server is Java based so in order to run it you first need to install Java runtime environment. Um, to do that just go to java.com slash download and make sure that you install the latest Java runtime environment on your server. Um, it requires version 7 or later. One more thing you'll have to take care of is the Java home environment variable. In order to do that, go to your computer. This is Windows 7 in Properties, the Advanced System Settings, and the Environment Variables. Under System Variables, make sure you have the Java underscore home um, environment setup and that it's pointing to your Java runtime environment uh, installation folder. Okay, when we, once we have that, now let's start the Elasticsearch server 
In order to do that, I'll just go to the Elasticsearch folder. There's a bin folder, and here I'm presented with a, a few options for running the server. Um, the first one is running the Elasticsearch batch file, which would run the server in a regular process. And if I'm running it in a batch file like this, I'll have to make sure that the batch file is executed every time Windows is starting. The other option is to run it as a service. And in order to do that, let's open a command prompt here. And I'll just run service install. And I've successfully installed the Elasticsearch service and service start. Now my Elasticsearch server is started. And we can see that if we go to localhost, the default port is 9200. And here is my Elasticsearch server. As you can see, it doesn't have any fancy interface, just a regular um, JSON um, displayed here. Now, in order to hook it up with Sitefinity, I'll go back to Sitefinity, back to the system settings, advanced, and here under audit, I'll just put the URL, the current URL of my running Elasticsearch, and the right port, save it, and we're done. Now, in order to get fancy reports and more detailed custom dashboards of my audit trail, um, let's put Kibana on. In order to do that, we'll just go to elasticsearch.org slash overview slash Kibana. And let's download it. So let's scroll down. And down here, we can download the zip file of Kibana. Now the download is complete and let's again find it in the downloads and again I'll move it to my desktop just for easier usage. So here it is, let's extract it. Now Kibana uses static HTML files which run static uh, AJAX scripts to get data from external sources. Um, so basically we can run Kibana right from the desktop by opening the index.html file for which we're getting a, an alert for now. But in order to make it run better and of course in order to access it from external computers I'm going to set up quickly a site for it. So I'll go to my IIS manager and let's quickly add a site. It's going to be called Kibana. Just put it on the default application pool. The path to my Kibana server and give it some other port. And we're done. Now let's browse the site. And here we have Kibana running. We're still getting an alert here and that's because by default IIS uh, does not handle the JSON MIME type. So in order to set this up I'll just go back to my IIS server and let's go to MIME types and add the JSON extension as application slash JSON. Now let's try to refresh the page and this is already looking better. Now in order to integrate Kibana with Elasticsearch let's go back to the Kibana folder and here in the config.js file let's open it with notepad++ and let's find the Elasticsearch line here it is and we just have to set the right address for the Elasticsearch URL and save it. Now let's refresh and we have here a sample dashboard which we can use. And we can see that we have no items in it. Kibana has the option to integrate with custom dashboards which can be easily constructed with JSON format. Um, we have 
uh, provided a few of those. Here is one of them which is hosted on GitHub. We can see that it's hosted just as a GIST, um, which is just a GIST snippet of JSON format. In order to load it with Kibana, all I have to do is go to the load menu, then click advanced and enter a GIST URL here. Click the get button and then click the dashboard generated. And here we have our custom dashboard for um, backend access, which uh, which gives us logs from the audit trail for logging in and out of the Safeinity system. If I want to reuse this dashboard in the future, all I have to do is click the Save button and click the backend access dashboard. And here we have the option to reload it every time we want. Let's try now to log out of the Safeinity system and log in again. and refresh. You can see that there's a small glitch here with the timestamp, so in order to resolve that I'll go to the dashboard settings under index and we'll just put index here and save it. And now we can see the events that were logged in the audit trail. Let's load another dashboard for demonstration. I'll just go to the home tab and again load a dashboard I'll give it the GIST URL, get it. This is the content dashboard, so I'll choose it. And for future usage, I'll also save it. So now we can switch between the two loaded dashboards. We have no events here yet, but let's go to the Sitefinity dashboard and create a news item. publish it. Now let's reload the Kibana dashboard. And here's our news item created, both master version and live version. One more thing, once we're running Elasticsearch in Kibana, we can go back to our Sitefinity settings and under advanced, go to audit and we can turn off the JSON logging. Since we have a much more elaborate logging in use now with our advanced custom dashboards. So this was a quick demo for the Audit Trail module and its integration with Elasticsearch and Kibana servers for really powerful custom Audit Trail reporting from Sitefinity.